Oh, what's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. So today we're gonna today we're doing it. We're we're gonna hit that 25 Giga Ti, and we're gonna get the teleporter unlocked because I want to do that. I want to get the teleporter unlocked. It's gonna happen. We're gonna check it out. It's gonna be a thing, and then we're gonna see how it goes. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. And before we get going any further, I gotta give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video. Now, before we get going any further, we got to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh. Now, if you don't know what HelloFresh is, and if you've been living under a rock or maybe on another planet, HelloFresh delivers fresh pre-portioned meals right to your doorstep. And they offer so many new recipes that you'll never find yourself in a recipe rut. And if you're worried about sticking to your goals, HelloFresh offers vegetarian, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals. My personal favorite is the buffalo spiced chicken cutlets. They are absolutely delicious with just the right amount of spice to them. And the step-by-step -step recipes are so easy to follow with their pre-portioned ingredients that even I could do it. So that way you can cut down on your prep time, you can get back to enjoying what you do most, being outside or playing video games. So use my link or go to hellofresh.com and use POG Z1 May 16 for up to 16 meals free, three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes, plus free shipping. Once you click the link in my description, it will update live to count up the purchases. Let's get cooking. Food's cooked up, ready to go. And thanks again for HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Again, use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGZ1MAY16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes, plus free shipping. Once you click, uh, my description down below will actually update in real time, so pretty cool. But um, thanks again for HelloFresh. Let's get eating. Okay, so I think the fastest thing that's going to give us the most improvement um, is probably heat. I think we could double our heat production relatively easy i'm gonna say relatively easy because i'm not 100 sure because drill tier fours take super alloy and osmium i have so much super alloy that i think we should be able to build these no problem i currently have seven of them so if i build eight more hit that magical 15 number we should we're gonna we're gonna double our heat production so we're gonna try that first because I think we have the resources for that. The only thing that might be an issue is the osmium, but you know, we, got, we got a lot of osmium too. So we're gonna start off by building a whole bunch of drills and then uh, we're gonna go from there because I don't have a lot of iridium. So heaters, uh, heaters could be kind of an issue, but you know what, that's okay. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead, let's get started on that. Hopefully you guys enjoy, if you do like subscribe all the fun things, you know how it is. And oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. So let's go ahead. Let's see. I've got one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-four osmium. So if we needed twenty-four divided by three, that'd be seven, right? No, that's twenty-one eight. Oh my gosh. That is exactly what we need. Okay, so let's do this. Let's grab all the osmium. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret going through all the osmium. Uh, and let's go and let's go get some drills built and we're gonna see how this helps us. Now, I know we also need to do some more rockets. Rockets will probably be a huge thing that'll help us as well. But I've already done a lot of rockets. I feel like I've done a lot. So we're gonna start with this and then every time we do a rocket after that, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be like a big deal. Where is, you know, there it is. Um, you, I play all these different games and the button to craft is always different. Built here for oh, I'm out of super alloy already. Now I say I have a bunch of super alloy. Um, I <laughs> have a feeling it might not go as far as I was hoping it would go. Um, I'm not even gonna try to put these in rows anymore because there's, there's mm -mm, nope, not even gonna try. Like look at that, there's three done. There's three of eight already, and that's gonna increase our production by a lot. And then um, yeah, then we'll probably have to worry about some um, probably getting some rockets and stuff. I'd like to get some more iridium going but yeah we probably should get some more heaters and stuff because those heaters are going to help us out a lot too so actually i think we had just enough for uh 
for all of our our drills i think i think these are gonna be the last two and i think we have everything we need <laughs> so the the eight drill increase was pretty quick that didn't take too much effort at all actually that's phenomenal okay so now we've got eight we've we should have a total of 15 drills so let's go see what our our indexing is now we're at 1597 so we are picking up the pace a little bit here Two thousand, two hundred ten thousand. that didn't double it it's because of the percentages it's the it's the times percentage thing uh, 15 drill tier fours. Okay. So five heaters heaters. We could probably use more of oxygen is like solid. Um, the biomass I feel like is not too bad. I feel like we're moving. We're still, we're still cruising on the biomass for now until that hits like hits like giga tons or whatever, or whatever the next step is after that. And then it's going to be like er, super slow. But we're still actually... Oh, you know what? It was the pressure. It wasn't heat. It was pressure. But it increased heat too. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was pressure that we we uh, increased. Okay. So now heat... We're at 1602. We're actually moving along pretty decently now. So if I wanted to get heaters, we need super alloy, iridium rods, and explosive powder. My problem is the iridium rods. I'm going to go through all my inventory and I'm going to see how much iridium I can come up with. Okay, so actually, I have a decent little amount of iridium. We might be able to get... Um, we might be able to get one more heater made without having to do a whole lot. I'm also grabbing all the super alloy because now we're out of super alloy. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we've got three rods. I, don't, I might be able to... Uh, let me see here. We might be able to get another heater. Might be able to get two more heaters. That would be nice. More explosive powder. Man, we got explosive powder out the wazoo here. There's more explosive powder. There's more explosive powder. Jeez Louise. Okay. So in order to get another iridium run, I need what? Three, six. I need three more iridium. Because I think it's nine iridium for a rod. And then I think it's just super alloy and explosive powder. So let's go see if we have three more iridium in this drill over here. No iridium whatsoever. Okay, let's just take all that, let it do its mining thing. Um, another thing that we're going to have to do here is we don't have hardly any pulsar quartz. So we are going to have to go out and do some explorational type things, uh, which actually probably wouldn't be too bad because I might be able to find some iridium rods while we're out. Actually, can I just go ahead and build? Let's get another heater in here, like right now. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure we are placing them here. Okay, good enough. Hydration level low. That's no problem. Chug a lug, chug a lug. All right, so one more iridium. Yeah, that's all I need. Or I need three more iridium. One more iridium rod. That's what I mean. So we're gonna go out. We're gonna do some exploration. Uh, let's go. Let's go find some stuff here. Let's go find some crates. Let's go find some new things. Actually, you know, another thing we need to, we probably should go ahead and get those uh, rocket upgrades too. But I think we'll be all right. So we'll take some water with us. We can drink out of the lake, so we should be okay there. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of food with us. And then, uh, you know what? Let's grab an oxygen canister, just to be safe. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's start off by going and looking through, see if we can find some crates. Maybe we can find some goodies. I do remember a comment that somebody left that we might have to go, uh, there might be a crate or there might be something to go check out at the crater that I missed. I do also want to go up this vine though, because this, this area is super cool. Oop. So we've got zeolite up here. I'm not worried about that. We got a crate here, which we already gathered. So I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct that. I'm going to try to deconstruct crates as we pick them up. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and let's head towards that, um, the meteor crater. And let's see what I miss. What did I miss? Oh, I love our islands with the trees on them. It looks so cool. It's so cool. I love that. It looks so good. Oh, I forgot about this wreck too. I bet you there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Cause I, I know there was there was a bunch of stuff in there, but I don't think we really grabbed any of it. We'll have to check that out. Okay, we'll remember to check that out. But let's go check out this meteor thing first. 
I'm also going to tell you right now, I get lost in this thing every single time I try to make it to the meteor. Every single time I get lost. Like, I, I don't under... It's... <laughs> It's hard to figure out where the heck you need to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to go this way. And then I think in here, yeah, there's another split. Okay, I think this is the right way. <laughs> I say that and it's not. Ooh, radium rod. Okay, cool. Um, This way? Yes, okay, it was this way. Uh, ooh, another iridium rod. Oh, this wasn't the right way. Darn it. Okay, hold on. Um, we went... Okay, split, we went that way. Can we go... This side? Oh my gosh, I'm turned around. I think I'm going backwards. Yeah, we went backwards. Wait, did we go backwards? I think I went backwards. Gosh darn it! Oh, I made it out. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's super dark here. All right, let's wait till it's daytime and then we'll go and explore this thing. Um, yeah, apparently I might have missed something here. So maybe a cave or something. Okay, it's almost light enough. So let's see. Was there a cave of some sort? Maybe a, uh, it's still dark. It's still hard to see. Let's look in here. Okay, we've got iridium, which actually is a good little spot to gather that. Is there any caves or anything over here? I don't really see anything. What's this? Cobalt. Is there any underwater caves? Could be an underwater cave. I don't know. <gasps> oh, it's a new, uh, a new super secret place. Okay. All right. Another super secret place. What do we have? Holy moly. This is like a straight up. Oh, that's a jetpack. That is a straight up jetpack. Interesting. I don't really see anything else though. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's a satellite thing. We did grab some auction canisters. Sending message attempt number 86, 87, 88, 89, 91. Interesting. Let's get rid of that. Can I deconstruct this? Nope. Uh, this base is huge. Okay, so we got well, some super alloys, some aluminum, some things. Oh my gosh, this base is just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It, can't, it goes down again. What? Holy moly. Zeolite explosive powder, super alloy. Let's go ahead and grab our auction canister. Does this go anywhere? Oh, it does. Oh, it just goes. Whoa, hold on. Look at all these veggie tubes. What the heck? Um, I'm lost. I don't even know where I'm at now. Did we? Okay, hold on a second. Where did we come in from? What the heck? What are these? Oh, a chip? An engine? 
How many days did I spend on this planet? I can't tell anymore. Does my family still remember me? I miss them so much. I miss everything. That is not a red rock at this point. Is somebody waiting for me back home? Do I really have any chance of getting out of here? Do I have my best to survive and I'm getting better and better at it? Maybe some help will come. Maybe they will send a rescue team. There's no way nobody will be looking for us, looking for me. There's no way nobody. Interesting. Oh, okay. Hold on. There was a... It said destroy debris. <gasps> Super secret wall. Tree scenes, fertilizer tier two. Okay, hold on. I got to get a layout of this place because I need to be able to get out and get to my house as quick as possible. Okay, so there's that. All right, let's make our way back up. Um, let's go and get... Let's drop our stuff off. Because I, I, we need to make a storage and drop stuff off. Oh my gosh, that place is huge. All right, inventory's clear. We're going back in. Okay, so... We walk out. And then, okay, so we went this way. And then if we go straight... Okay, so this takes us to the veggie tube room. This takes us here. This takes us to that super secret room. So let's grab that stuff. There's like data racks and stuff in here. Take those. All right, let's see what else we got. So we did the veggie tube room. We did this room. And then this way goes back to the way we came from. Okay, so there was an area going down. Oh, and we have... What? How did I not take those out already? Okay, so there's the room going down. Additional stuff. Hold on, let's go down again. <gasps> Pulsar quartz. Okay, so this is like a bedroom place. <gasps> oh, hello there. Take you. Veggie tubes. Another system. What if I stayed here forever? I found enough to drink and my crops are getting bigger and bigger. I've successfully set up an energy source with a few solar panels. And for now, at least I have finally a bit of comfort. Could I spend my life by myself? Do you need company to live while I die alone? There's something really strange about this planet. I can't say what it is, but the more time I spend here, the more I want to stay. Nonsense. Nicholas. Interesting. Ho, ho, ho. This is cool. Um, there's like a screen there. Okay, let's get out of here. And let me go through. Let me grab like the top of the line stuff here. So, mm, Super Alley's really is not that great either. Zealot's pretty good. Pulsar Quartz is definitely top tier. Got a satellite dish in there. Okay, I think... I think we explored everything we could. I can't do anything with the jetpack. I can't do anything with those. All right, let's pop out of here and let's head back. Interesting. Cool little story development. You know what? We're going to use this. That is a neat story development. Um, I probably should go ahead and drop my inventory and grab all of the uh, iridium around here as well. Since, I mean, we're here for iridium anyways. But we're at 17 now. 17 to 25. Almost there. All right, let's grab as much iridium that we can here. Some iridium is underground. <laughs> okay, so we've got some iridium. Let's go ahead and take our iridium rods. Um, pulsar quartz is, like I said, top tier stuff. Iridium rods, pulsar quartz. We'll take these. I am going to need super alloy. And I think, of course, we'll take the, the effigy. I guess we'll take the zeolite. I haven't really been using zeolite a lot. And there, you know what? And it's it's a replenishable resource, so I don't really need it right now. But I know we're going to need the super alloy and stuff. All right. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and let's head back. And then let's get ourselves... I might actually have one, two, three. I might have enough for a... Um, we might have enough for two more heaters. Ooh, another engine. Uh, you know, let's drop a super alloy and grab the engine. 
Because the engine's an iridium rod as well. But we need those for our rockets anyways. Okay, so I think I have enough for two more heaters here. Let's see. Uh, let's grab our super ally. I just put it all the way. Two more heaters. Let's go ahead and increase, our, increase that. And then I think we'll probably go ahead and send up some more rockets here too. I think it's time for us to put heaters on the second story. We've got so many heaters now. Perfect. Two more heaters. Wonderful. Grab some delicious water. I almost have enough for another one. It's the iridium that I'm running out of, though. How's everything looking over here? So heat, we're at 307,000. And I've got two engines. You know what? I think I actually have more. No, yeah. See, there's a third engine. I'm also curious how much pulsar quartz is going to take to make a teleporter. Okay, so we've got three rocket engines. I wish there was a way to tell how many rocket engines, like how many rockets we've sent up of each thing. Hmm. You know what? I think we're going to do heat pressure and we'll do heat pressure and biomass. I mean, we could also send up the, the new information. You know, we'll do heat pressure and biomass. Teleporters are first. That's what we need more. Heat, pressure, and biomass. Pretty sure that's going to be three cobalt for one of the rockets. I know we're going to need two super alloy for each rocket. And then we're going to need silicon for another one. And then the biomass rocket, I think, let's, let, I'm going to try to do this off the top of my head here. I think it is, is it tree seed Lerma? No, biomass. Is it tree seed Lerma bark and bacteria sample? Maybe? Maybe. I don't think I have any. Oh, I have a bacteria sample. Maybe. Maybe. I can't remember. All right. Let's see. Hold on. It was biomass rocket. Oh, I needed fertilizer. Okay. So let's do this one first. And I'll go grab the fertilizer. All right. And then magnetic field. That is going to give us the pressure so we'll go ahead and send that one up and then we'll do the biomass one as well goodbye rocket and launch another rocket yay look at that you can still see the other rocket we're launching another one ha <laughs> ha go rockets go alright we're at 1794 17.94 we're still crawling 17.95 359,000 on the biomass that's pretty good all right so since we're gonna be waiting on those i guess it's probably only fair that we get those other rockets sent up that we don't have sent up yet so let's go and see what we need for those Oh, we're probably going to have a storm again. Okay, so we sent up GPS satellite tier 1. So we need to send up tier 2, tier 3, and a map information rocket. So I need three rocket engines. And, like, a lot of compass chips. Two, three, four, five compass chips. Okay, so let's start with the five compass chips. I'm going to try to get up everything made uh, for those, and we'll send those up, and we'll see the uh, the difference that we get. So... Compass chips. I don't even know what these things require. Silicon magnesium and two aluminum. Shoot. Easy enough. Okay, we've got the microchips. Easy. Easy. <laughs> oh, the engines are going to be the problem. <laughs> I already know that. We also need a uh, super alloy rod. So, eight, uh, eight super alloy and an aluminum. Oh, snap. Okay, so I know I have enough for one. I know I have super alloy just kind of chilling everywhere. I'm pretty sure I needed two of these. Okay, so we have those. Let's go see what else I need. I can't remember now. I know we need the rocket engines. I know I need three rocket engines. So 
So I need uh, two osmium aluminum, three osmium. Actually, so I need two more, one, two, three osmium total. I need two more osmium and an aluminum and then rocket engines. Okay, so I have everything else. I have everything we need minus the actual engines themselves because the engines themselves require an iridium rod, two uranium and super alloy. And the iridium rod is what's causing us issues right now. So, you know what we're going to go do? We're going to go. Oh, geez. I can't even get out the door. <laughs> I'm asteroided in. I'm stuck. And we're escaped. Okay. I am going to. Oh, holy moly. Oh, you know what? We had an iridium storm. We should have some iridium laying around. You know, I've actually got a decent amount of iridium out of this. Little surprised. Let's go check our miner, too. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. I think I might actually have everything we need now. Minus oxygen, which looks like it's getting dangerously low. <laughs> All right, we did it. We should have everything we need now. Actually, hold on. Let me go ahead and turn this iridium into rods, too. Not enough. Okay. Yeah, I had plenty of iridium. That was nice. Those in there. We got our three engines. Oh, hold on. Let me grab that guy. We're going to put our uranium away. I actually had to, uh, I had to deconstruct a uranium rod. I can't even believe it. And then we're going to grab everything else. We're going to send up those three rockets. Now, these three rockets, we're going to grab this because that's all my stuff. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to try to do them one at a time so you can see like what they actually do. But what I believe is we've sent up this rocket here. So that allows us to um, essentially zoom out to that point. I thought we sent up this one, but it's not letting us do anything. So we're going to send up that one. And that should allow us to zoom to that point. And then I'm going to guess the final one's going to allow us to zoom out to that point. And then the final, final one, the map information, I think is going to show us some locations on the map. So let's go check these out. So let's grab, because I, oh, I'm i pretty sure we're, we already, I thought we already did this one too, but I guess not. So go ahead and get that one going. Um, I don't think it's going to cause anything. Is it going to cause a storm of any type? I don't think so. Okay, so there goes tier two mapping. So now we should be able to zoom out to the tier two. Yes. Okay, so there's our tier two. Now tier three, it's gonna let us zoom out even further, which is awesome. That is fantastic. I love, I love that they. Um, I think they kind of changed that a little bit. I don't think it quite used to be that. Maybe, it, maybe it did. Maybe it was always like that. I don't know. I like it though. Let's go ahead and get area tier three. Man, this thing's got all kinds of like fins on it. Awesome. Okay, now let's go into here and we should be able to zoom out all the way on the map. Holy moly. That is some serious zoomage right there. So like you can see, um, there's my little base over there by the crater. Well, if you didn't know where the crater was, guess what? You could probably figure it out now. <laughs> um... What is that? Who's that? Who's that little guy? Hmm. All right. So let's go do the informations now. Now, I think the information is going to tell us where the caves are, like the caves with the resources that are um, like harvestable. So like it's going to probably tell us where I don't know, but maybe it's going to tell us where like uranium cave, radium cave, super alloy cave, all that fun stuff. Map informations rocket. Well, that's a cool looking rocket. All right, let's send it. Yeah, it's got like a saddle. It's got like a little satellite dish on it. Bye. All right. Let's go see our map now and see what we can find.
Oh, there it is. Okay, so now we can see, all right, uranium mine, osmium mine, aluminum mining area. There's iridium. Oh, iridium right there, osmium right there. Oh, there's another uranium cave over there. Okay, super alloy. We knew where that was. The zeolite is in this area. Got it. That's super cool. That is super cool. So if you didn't know where any of these were, well, this would be super handy. It is pretty handy, though, too, uh, because then it's like, oh, I can see because like some of these like I didn't know. I don't think I knew about that one. I think that's a new one that they just added. So I'm pretty sure that's a new one. I knew about this one. Isn't there? No, that's the iridium. I was thinking, well, I was like, wasn't there uranium over here? But there wasn't. Very, very cool. I like that. I like that. I don't know what this thing is, though. Because that's in the Sand Falls area. We gotta go. We gotta go explore this thing. It's just a dot of nothing. <gasps> oh. You know what? No, because this is the area where the wreck is. The wreck is over here. The wreck is over here. Isn't it? Or is that is that the wreck? No, because the super alloy cave, we go up past the super alloy cave, then we go into this area, and then there's like a, a crash over here. What is that one? That one's hidden under the sand falls. Let's go check that out. We gotta see what's up. So I'm gonna start by going on the ground. We're gonna go into the sand falls this way. I wanna see what's up there. What is the magical thing? Okay, so here's the sand falls. And it looks like it's like smack dab in the middle of it. Oh, but I, I don't think I've ever seen anything over here. Some rocks. Ooh. Weirdly colored stuff over here. The heck? Why does this change into like a... Is this a cave? Oh! Well, I'll be. It's a cave. It's an osmium cave. Interesting. You know, I... I, I you know, I feel like I've read the comments on this before... I didn't know this. I didn't really had no idea this was here. Like I, I feel like I had the idea, but I wasn't positive. And the way that the light was changing, I was like, mm, "This definitely feels like a cave lighting kind of thing." Interesting. Okay, cool. Huh? It's kind of weird that it shows up like a little white dot, though. All right, we are finally about to approach the twenty-five giga TI. I'm calling it giga TI. I don't even care. We're about to hit it. I cannot wait. This is a momentous occasion. It's been slowly coming in for so long now uh, let's get a teleporter right or does that have to be like point one? Oh my gosh we finally got it okay so teleporter teleports you between places super alloy rod osmium zeolite and three pulsar quartz now you're gonna probably have to have two of them right uh to teleport so i did go out and i tried to find as much pulsar quartz as i could uh, only bad part is that I don't have enough for, um, more than one. I can only make two. So, well, I can make, okay, I can't make more than two. Because I wanted to see how three worked. Maybe we'll try to see if we can't. You know what? We could always, how much, how much power do we have? 1760. Oh, darn it. Because I could, yeah, that's 18. Yeah, we, we could go take down. No, we're not going to. Okay. Let's build ourselves a Pulsar Quartz. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. So, we need the Pulsar Quartz. We need Osmium. We need Zeolite. And we need Super Alloy Rods. So, Super Alloy Rods. Um, eight Super Alloy and Aluminum. Oh my gosh. All right, so there's that. Grab our two Aluminum. Oh my gosh, it's finally happening. This has been taking forever. Two Super Alloy Rods. We can make a teleporter. All right. So if I put this here. <gasps> oh. So this needs to be named home. So, oh, at least two teleports required. But then you can just select it from a list. Oh my gosh. Okay, so where is, okay, where do I go often? 
That is far away. Hmm. Super Alley Cave is not that far away. Of course, the cave. Oh, you know what? Maybe the Zeolite Cave and stuff like that. Let's go do that. Okay. Let's go place that over there. And then, you know what? We probably, we're going to have to have a room for it. We can't just have it sitting out there. Oh, you know, I guess we do have that one small room that we had set up. I feel like this is be I feel like this might be a good good first teleport because then we could have uh we all have access to our zeolite cave. Um uh, we would have access to the zeolite cave and to the zeolite. <laughs> Even though we don't really need that much zeolite, we're just going to put it up there just to see how this thing goes cuz I want to check this out. I want to see how it works. Um I'd love to have more, but like I said, I am one pulsar quartz short of a third teleporter. So, um, yeah, ideally, I think ideally it would be good to have your teleports like on opposite sides of the map, like one centered one, like maybe where your base is at one, like on the other side of the map and then like another opposite side of the map. So let's see, we've got this area. Oh, darn it. I went the wrong way. I might be able to go up this. You think we can go up this? What are the odds that we can go up this sand thing with our jetpack? I bet you we can go up it. Oh yeah, it's just a big hill of sand. Okay, so let's do this. I already have a building over there, but I'm gonna throw another building right here. I mean, that really wasn't that far away, was it? Well, for testing purposes, it'll be far enough. All right, so there's that. And then where's our teleporter? Oh my gosh, we did it. Okay. Uh, what do we call this? We'll call this the... Um, is, you wonder if this is the balcony. Let's call it the balcony. Oh my gosh, we've done it. The balcony. Okay, so here we go. First teleport ever. Home. Oh. <gasps> that was so marvelous. That was so wonderful. Oh my gosh, that is so absolutely fantastic. Can we see these on the map by any chance? I don't think we can. Okay. So yeah, so we just put one. Let's see, so this is this area. This is this. So we put one like right here. Oh, right there. There's a teleport. There's a teleport. So like that makes sense, you know, because then we could go to this area real quick, pop back in here, get back here. So the other one ideally might be like over here, over here, over here. Uh, depending on what areas we go to the most, we'll probably end up going to get this iridium cave more than anything. So maybe we'll set up another one like right over here. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. That is absolutely fantastically phenomenally amazing. It looks good too. It looks like a good teleporter machine. Oh, should we teleport back? Let's do it. And then we're here. Oh, it's wonderful. So I need to go out, find more Pulsar Quartz and uh, yeah, get another one made. But that is going to end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.